What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. We're going to be talking about Scream 7 in this video here today. We're going to be talking about Scary Movie 6. We'll talk about Megan 2 a little bit and we'll round it out by talking about Insidious 6. Just a small update on Insidious 6. So starting off here with Scream 7, we got a update on Courtney Cox's status for the upcoming seventh film. And it sounds like to me she still plans to return is what I'm going to take away from this. Now, an insider close to Life and Style magazine reportedly disclosed Courtney Cox is training with Jennifer Aniston for her return in Scream 7. It says when Courtney signed up to make another Scream this year, so they're indicating that she's already signed, which lines up with what we have heard from Daniel RPK. But also, I did see a recent comment from Big Screen Leaks that might suggest otherwise. So I don't, of course, know what is true and what isn't true. It says when Courtney signed up to make another scream this year, she was very intentional about not wanting to go the Jamie Lee Curtis route of taking on her camera aging overboard just to get attention and potential points from critics. Now, for this movie, she's committed to getting into the best shape of her life and looking hot as hell when she's on camera. I mean, yay for her, I guess. I think for now, this does confirm her intentions to return even further without us having a specific wording of Cox has signed a deal to return. If she hasn't signed, it's clear that she will. Because again, like I stated, I stated for this entire time, what I had heard was that she is down to return. That's all I ever heard about Courtney Cox. And this is just kind of backing that up even further. She's training for it. I think she's kind of actually been teasing this training on her Instagram page. So, Gail's never got to be the leading lady. Just like Ghostface pointed out in Scream 6. And I doubt she will in 7. But hopefully, whatever it is, satisfies longtime fans of the character and of the franchise. So we'll just have to wait and see what Scream 7 will offer us with Gail Weathers. And I will also go out on a limb and say this. If you've been watching Scream 5 and Scream 6 closely, I think it's safe to say that Scream 7 is going to cater to Stuthers. I can see them catering to Stuthers in ways that are not going to be related to bringing Stu Mocker back from the dead. But I do see Scream 7 catering to Stuthers. Take from that what you will. Now, I'm going to dive into Scare Movie 6. Anna Ferris gave a comment to people recently to explain what it would take for Scare Movie six, for a Scare Movie 6 return. Because we know that movie is in the works. It's supposed to come out next year, I think, too. And it's supposed to be shooting soon. She said, I would like to reprise my role as, of course, uh, Cindy. I would love to work with, Regi with Regina again. I just love her so much. We would make each other giggle all day long. Regina Hall would be my answer. And money, but mostly all Regina. Now, naturally, this just warmed everyone's heart. If you love their chemistry growing up, it's argued they carried four, even though four is like the second worst entry next to five. Their chemistry definitely did carry those later films after the Waynes were unfortunately removed. I'd love to see both back if the rumored direction is true. I don't see why Cindy and Brenda wouldn't return for this because Scare Movie 6 is rumored to have the return of the Doofy character. I mean, Brenda did die in the first film, but actually now that I think about it, it doesn't really matter because she kept returning. It doesn't seem to be a problem to bring her back. So just bring her back. Doofy's return should also lead to Cindy and Brenda returning is all I'm getting at. I can see whatever new crop of characters that are involved, obviously taking jabs and poking at the current trends with the horror legacy sequels. They reach out to Cindy and Brenda. Cindy and Brenda come in in a significant way and it's just all chucks and giggles and jokes and they help them stop the killer, in this case, Doofy. So... That is what I think is going to happen with Scare Movie 6. Again, that is just based off of the rumored plot details. Hopefully, Anna Ferris can return. I don't think it's necessary for her or Regina to return. It would just be nice to see them back. That's all. It's not necessary for either one of them to return. They can easily do a Scare Movie 6 that is miles better than Scare Movie 5 as long as they understand what made those first two films so iconic and the third film itself in a way. But the secret ingredient missing could end up being the Wayans brothers. That doesn't mean that it can't be a good movie. It just probably will not be the same quality that we got with those first two films. So we're going to talk about Megan now, Megan 2. Megan 2 rounded out the rest of its cast. We know it's currently filming, but I neglected to discuss these new and returning stars during my last update I did for the film. Jordan Alvarez and Jess Van Epps are returning. You'll probably recall that these were Gemma's co-workers, Cole and Tess, that helped her assemble Megan for the Funky Company. Now, I found this out from executive producer Adam Hendricks, who has been posting set images over the last few days. And then these are our newcomers. They include Aristotle Athari, Jermaine Clement, and Tim Sharp. Now, their roles, just like the other newcomer, newcomer in Ivanka Sacno, their roles are being hidden. 
Keep in mind, the rumored story includes a second doll. If the Funky team is back, I would assume the new stars are the rival company that built Ivana's role since she's supposed to be the new dangerous doll in the block expected to be named Amelia. So we'll just have to wait and see, but I would imagine that's why they're being kept under wraps because the set image that the producer shared, Hendrix, has all the funky people, including the person who starred as Megan, the, the actress who starred as Megan, but then the other people, starting from Ivana all the way down, they're grayed out, their names are not there, and it's like, okay, that seems to be the closer confirmation that that must be our rival company, and that this person here, these people here are going to be who made Emilia. So we'll just have to wait and see what comes of that. Last thing we're going to talk about here is going to be Insidious 6. So Insidious 6 was announced earlier this year. It's supposed to come out sometime next year, and it's supposed to start filming September the 23rd, to be exact, in Toronto. Now, we don't have an official any official plot details and all i've heard even though this isn't much <laughs> this is literally all i've heard is that there's a man named lester involved in this story lester seems to be a bit of a weirdo take from that what you will but we'll have to wait and see what actually comes of that because there wasn't much context to it the film like i mentioned is supposed to release next year despite blum previously telling us this franchise will be taking a rest i myself when he even said that was not understanding how it's taking a rest when you already have that other movie in the works that's a spinoff from the franchise which is threads and insidious tale we also don't know if the lamberts are going to be back in any way the only thing that even told us we would get in a sixth movie is i think this post credit scene or mid credit scene i think it was in the, the last film the red door the the red door itself came back on our screen and the light started flickering to highlight the door and that stuff is active behind that door still that's the only thing we got to tease of a six movie so we don't know anything about the lamberts and if they're returning i don't think they really should return because i feel like the red door i recall was promoted as the final chapter for them let that be the final chapter if you want to bring a lease back sure but just do something that has nothing to do with the lamberts and we can go from there you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video